Now in this video, I'd like to share with you five things that you shouldn't do when you're in these collectibles hobbies. Hey, how's it going everyone? I'm DCSG81 and welcome back for another special video because today I'm going to share with you five things that you shouldn't do when you are an action figure collector. So let's start with number five. Oh no 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 <laughs> Okay, so for number five, I would call this don't buy something just for the sake of buying so this is very much applies to me because whenever i visit any of the toy store or any toy shop i always have the urge to buy something even though i don't have anything in mind that i would like to get you know when i was browsing around i saw this figure this marvel legends i, I don't even have the slightest intentions to get it but you know, just for the sake of getting something, it's like I'm already in this toy store, why not just grab something home? Shut up and take my money! So don't ever do this because you will end up buying something that you wouldn't even want to. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, 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 no! Number four is don't ever buy something just because it is cheap or because it is having sales or having a big discount. This is a big no-no because again, it's very similar to the, the fifth don't that you will end up buying something that you don't even want it. And do remember the first thing that they are having sales or having big discount on that item is because they can't sell it. Yeah, so it's not a good item or it's not a very uh, popular thing that people want to buy. So you end up buying something that you will just ditch aside when you reach home. I don't want to play with you anymore. The third reason is, I think many of you actually falls into this trap, is don't buy something because it is in the hype now. Like for example, right now everyone's talk about Doctor Strange, the Multiverse of Madness, and the next thing is Thor, Love and Thunder. So people will feel like, wow, because there are posters everywhere and you just feel like you want to own something out from the movie. So you will end up buying something like, you know, the whole wave of the Thor, Love and Thunder. And then you will end up like, why do I even get the whole set? I already have Thor. The only thing that you might not have is the Lady Thor, which is the Jane Foster. Yeah, that's the good one. Maybe even Gore. Yeah, this is something new. At least there's something new. Well, people like Star Lord, we already have that. Teen Groot, we already have that. Even the Build a Figure characters, we already gotten it. Just a different outfit. So you end up having a lot of multiple things that it just feels like, wow, I shouldn't have bought the entire wave in the first place. So don't ever buy something which is on the hype now just because you feel like you want to compete with the rest of the people in the Facebook group that everyone seems to own it and you want to own it as well. That's a bad thing to do. These things are super popular with the kids. 10 seconds later. The second one is a lot of people are actually doing that which is buying it extra and then keeping it to sell it at a higher price later aka scalpers. A very good example right now is the reissue of Mayfax, The Amazing Spider-Man as well as Venom. I can see a lot of people are actually selling off their extras right now at an even cheaper price because they know they can't sell it high anymore because of the reissue. That That's what's happening now is not good to be a scalper. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. And the last one is also I'm guilty of which is don't be a completist. A completist is someone who actually buy it just for the sake of completing the whole team, like the Avengers, for example. You just want to buy every single one of the characters just because you want to have the last scenes. Even though that's impossible, but a lot of you guys, I can see that you don't even know some of the characters, like uh, maybe War. Yeah, I think he's well known now. Or maybe some of the even the Wakanda soldier that is not very well known. Some of you guys are actually hunting it just because you want the complete team of Wakanda or maybe the complete teams of uh, Guardian of the Galaxy just because you are a completist. This is not good because you are buying something or 
or characters that you don't even know maybe you, you just know it from the movie but you don't really like the character uh it just feels like uh he has to be there to for my teams to be completed otherwise it would be like a missing puzzle but this is again a not so good and i even myself i'm actually guilty of it i do buy some characters which i don't really know but i know that he's in the team so i i, I felt the uh the responsibility to buy him to complete the team so that my my collection looks great yeah so that that's something that is not good and i think that's what everyone falls into right now that people are just buying but they, they don't actually love the characters i just thought of another one which i think it should be a bonus for you guys which is don't buy the variances okay what i mean by variances is as you know for example iron man yeah we have lots of different armor but it's actually a variance of the same characters for myself i'm guilty of this as well because i do have a lot of uh captain america's from the mcu i do have the complete black widow's figure which is six of them right now yeah when i look at them they are just Black Widow. Why do I buy six Black Widow? Like for Captain America, I think I have seven or eight. Yeah, to me, they are just the same person, the same characters. Why do I get so many? Yes, so this is something that I'd like to share with you guys. Some of the mistakes that we as collectors do that end up that we are spending even more money that we should have. So I'd love to hear from you. What's your thought about this? Or you might even have something that you want to share. Do drop me your thoughts down in the comment sections below. And I'll catch you again in my next video. At the meantime, you can watch some of these special videos over here.